And now for a look at stories making headlines around the world. And we start with the ongoing controversy over the Iran nuclear deal. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says he has evidence that Iran was lying when it said it had given up its pursuit of nuclear weapons. For more on this and other news around the world, we turn to our Duaram at the News Center. Adam, there's just under two weeks left until President Trump has to decide on what to do with the 2015 Iran nuclear deal. But Netanyahu is nudging his U.S. counterpart to scrap the agreement. That's why I said Netanyahu went on national television on Monday to present what he called evidence of a secret Iranian nuclear weapons program. He said Iranian officials had deceived the world by denying it had ever sought nuclear weapons, adding they moved relevant documents to a secret location in Tehran. Lie. Big time. After signing the nuclear deal in 2015, Iran intensified its efforts to hide its secret nuclear file. In 2017, Iran moved its nuclear weapons files to a highly secret location in Tehran. A few weeks ago, in a great intelligence achievement, Israel obtained half a ton of the material inside these vaults. And here's what we got. 55,000 pages. Another 55,000 files on 183 CDs. President Trump, who has long been critical of the Iran deal, said his Israeli counterpart's presentation showed he was right about Iran. Israel is done today with the news conference and Prime Minister Netanyahu just gave a very, I don't know if everybody's seen it, but I got to see a little bit of it. And uh, that is just not an acceptable situation. And I've been saying that's happening. They're not sitting back idly. They're setting off missiles, which they say are for television purposes. I don't think so. So we'll see what happens. I, I'm not telling you what I'm doing, but a lot of people think they know. And on or before the 12th, we'll make a decision. Iran's foreign minister, uh, Javad Zarif, pushed back against Netanyahu's claim, dismissing his presentation as propaganda. In a tweet, he said the evidence was a, quote, rehash of old allegations, which had already been dealt with by the UN nuclear watchdog. The 2015 deal has been a hot topic since Trump came to office. He was long threatened to pull out of the agreement. European nations have acknowledged that the deal had its shortcomings, but have urged Trump to keep it for now, as it still provides the best deterrent for Iran not to obtain nuclear weapons.